All right, guys, I'm going to show you how I work with Illustrator. I'm going to make a character, but first I have to tell you the way I see the program. For me, it's like playing with paper colors. You have one paper here and another one here, and you just move them around or play with them in order to have a character or an illustration. So, first of all, I only use uh, three or four different tools, so I'm going to show you those tools and the way I work with them. First, I use the pencil because it gives me like the feeling of the real pencil. I mean, like the, the flow of the line. For me, it's very important in this first step. And it allows me to draw very freely like this. And I use this first step for making like a sketch. I draw a line and I try to find the form that I want to get for this character. And I'm going to make it like this, for example. Right? I'm going to resize it. And this is my first shape. It's going to be just, um, just a guide. I don't need it to be precise or anything like that. I just need it to show me where the, the small parts are going to be. For example, now I'm going to draw the, one of the arms and the other one. Right? Then maybe one leg and the other one. Take care of the, the sizes, dimensions and proportions of the character. Now, for me, this will work. Now, I turn this into a guide because I want to draw on top of this. I'm going to lock it. Now you see, those are the guides that I'm going to follow for making this character. Now I start with the pen tool and I start redrawing this little guy starting from the guides, All right? It allows me to have more control on, on where the lines should be and where I am supposed to be filling the spaces. This is the moment where I should start to take care of, of the final forms that I want to get. There we go, all right? Now I'm gonna start um, drawing one of the arms. And this is one of the things that I wanted to show you, is that since you're working with papers here, you can use one arm and use it also in the other part of the body, for example, like this. So you can control proportions and stuff like that. And if you don't want to do that, you can always um, draw every single part if you want. Right? Two arms. Now the legs. I've got one leg here and uh, I'm going to use the same leg for the, for the left part of the character. Now I've got this leg. I'm going to copy it. That's all right. Now, here's where I use one of the tools that I use in, in Illustrator. It's called the Shape Builder tool. Since I'm working with, with paper, what I want to do is to have only one piece of paper. But since I started doing these little parts in a separate way. Now I have to unite them. So I use this Shape Builder tool to make every single part of this body a unique piece of paper. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to hide the guides so you can see it. Here it is. Now it's only one piece of paper. It works like this. If I have one piece of paper here and another piece of paper here like this and I want them to be just one piece of paper you select both of them and use the um, shape builder tool and now they're one piece of paper right why do I do this because now I can use the second tool that I love the most here in Illustrator which is the knife tool the knife is used for cutting the paper 
and start getting shapes out of this piece of paper. For example, if I do have this piece and I want to um, separate the head from the body, I just use the knife and I take it from one end to the other of the paper, like this. And now I have two different pieces of paper, all right? And I'm going to change the color of the head. And I use the knife tool for, like, for example, making hair. Now we have hair here, like this, which is a very easy way to use these forms because if you get closer to the, um, to the point where the pieces uh, cross, there is no, no difference since you cut it from the same piece of paper. Now, if I have these pieces that are built from the same from the same main body, I can keep on. I'm gonna give him a and a t-shirt, and I'm gonna use the knife tool to start making the lines of the t-shirt. Like this. So it's very easy to divide the, the paper and start painting it in individual parts. I'm going to try to do it now with a lighter color, like this. OK. And since I want to have more details here in the, in the face area, I could construct the, the, one of the eyes, for example outside the body as a separate part to, to build little pieces outside the main body and then use them as a complement and because you're also able to change the size and I mean being able to, to, to control the, the level of, of details that you want to have in those parts and you can also have shapes like stars helping you to build that new part. For example, in this eye, I'm going to use a star like this. I'm going to resize it and then use it in the, in the center of the eye like this, for example. And you have to remember that it's always like different pieces of paper that you put together. For me, it works um, to think in, in, in that way because when you use Photoshop and you're um, doing illustration with pixels, it's like painting. And um, there's no reference to this kind of digital, digital illustration in the manual world. When you do illustration by hand, the closest thing that I was able to compare it with was cutting papers and putting, putting them together. So for me, the analogy works very well. So now we have this um, design that I made separate from the body. And with this uh, part, I can always play, like um, I can move it around so I can see where it fits better and also playing with the size, rotate it, well, you get the idea. For the eye, I did it with geometrical shapes, but I could use also the pencil tool for making the nose. It allows me to have a um, more organic movement of the of the line. Then I'm taking this thing that looks like a cucumber. Also play with the size, the rotation. And if I want to have more more details, for example, in the in the face, I can build the, the mouth with the knife tool again, some teeth, 
the tongue. The other part of the mouth, like this. You can get as many details as you want inside the... Um, whatever you do, you, you must always think that you're adding you know, paper or um, flat color stickers. One on top of the other. So if I want a, a bigger hair, for example, I can use a shape like this and add it to the hair that you already had, for example, here. Now, let's go with it. I'm gonna make a shoe and I'm gonna make it the same way I did the, the nose. I mean, I'm gonna use the, um, the pencil tool and I'm gonna also do it in a separate way, um, separate from the body because I want to make sure I can move it and I can resize it and I can have more details on it. So I'm gonna do it like this. Gonna resize it. Then I'm gonna use again the knife tool. It's a very easy way to, to, to make forms out of one shape. Just start playing with the, with the knife and finding different forms inside one, one silhouette. It's a fun way to, to illustrate. It reminds me a bit of what um, the illustrator of the Yellow Submarine. Now I have this shoe. I'm gonna try and make it a little more complex, like this. When I say complex, I mean only adding more details to it. Not really to the form, but to the, the inside part of the, of the shoe. Of course, if you want to, you can always apply <clears throat> all your creativity to, to find more complex forms and colors. And since I did it apart from the body, I can always change the, the angle of, the, of this part. So you can always find the, the best possible angle to get it together to the body. For example, if you put this one here, you can try it like this, and I like it better this way, so. And the same goes for the, for the hands. Pencil tool. You can also add um, shadows to the forms that you have done. Um, for example, if you, if you pick one of the pieces and you use the, um, the knife tool, you can cut off the parts that you're going to use as a shadow and then paint them in a different color. And that's it, like this. And let's do the same thing with the face. Okay. That's it. Or if you want to add like details to the pants, for example, <clears throat> you can always add pieces on top of the, uh, of the main illustration and start building from there. The idea is to have fun. Actually, uh, I don't think this is illustrating. It's more like constructing a character, um, which is a very fun way to see it because it actually is taking pieces and start um, joining them together like a, like a Lego or something like that. And you can always start over and find something or some parts that you did before and use them again, like building a library. So this is it.